Kia ora everybody, Sarah and Ensign here. And Tamashi. And Tamashi. Thank you for joining us and welcome to Mission 57 up to Fukushima. Before I back down, but you love this me back to solid ground. Heading out to the shoe store to buy some shoes for the the kids. Let's go. So we're here at the shoe store. We have the list of 33 names of kids who have had birthdays from, when was it? July. July, August, August September, September October. and October. So we've got 33 kids, 33 pairs of shoes to shop for. Let's go check it out. So last time we were here, we had two people help us. And we've just been told that the two people uh, no longer work here. So, <laughs> good thing we came a day early. We're gonna try and do this ourselves. But this whole list to do. This is the first sheet, there's two sheets. Oh Here we go. Oh, everything was right. You know we're free to live our lives. Finished with the list, so we got 33 pairs of shoes. These guys ended up helping us out, which saved us a lot of time. This place is always helpful, and um, quite often they give us a discount from their side, which is really awesome and, and helps with the mission. So today is mission 57, and today we're also joined by Chris. Right. Chris Bennett has come up from the Ome, yeah, Ome. All right, so he's headed up with us on the mission today. We'll head to the orphanage where we're going to hand out the shoes for the kids, and also some Hawaii goodies from Brett, Cam, and Kerry in Hawaii. I can see the future right in front of me. So these along here, this whole row of housing is gone already. So that means these people, I think this whole temporary housing actually, everybody's been moved um, back into the radiation zone. So they're slowly, the government's slowly breaking them down. So it's kind of surreal walking uh, back through here, to be honest because it was once a place that was so lively and had so many people, you know, this became them, their home for quite a few years after the, um, the earthquake and tsunami. So it's kind of surreal seeing remnants of, you know, people's, they had gardens, gardens going and, you know, there'd be laundry hanging up here. So it is, it's a little different. And, you just hope and, and pray that everybody's in a safer place now and that the people that have gone back to the zone, that, um, that they're okay.
us on this journey uh, now we've got to drive back home which is another three hour drive and then Chris has got to jump on his motorbike and drive to our and door. drive another hour. couple hours hour one hour hour one hour, hour. Only an hour. Wow. so um thank you everybody for supporting thanks for joining us always on the missions and um yeah yeah off we go back home let's go Fall right back down, but you love lifts me back to solid ground.